Today's episode of Variant is brought to you by GoDaddy. Today on Variant, it's Avengers vs. the Justice League. Yeah, that's happening. Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than I feel bad for Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's future child. I'm your host, Eris Quinonez. Today, we're going to answer one of the age-old comic questions. Who would win in a fight? The Justice League or the Avengers? This question is easily one of the most debated questions amongst comic fans. So let's take a journey through the land of comics and figure this out. You, me, us, together. It's the world's greatest heroes up against Earth's mightiest heroes. So, as they say in Mortal Kombat, fight! That was stupid. So for those of you who don't know how these versus episodes work, let me get you up to speed. It's up to you guys to decide who the winner is. I just break down both of the teams, giving you their origins, powers, skills, and just all around info on the teams and the members of each team. Then I'll put a poll up on our Variant Facebook page for you guys to vote and decide who the winner is. And I'll announce the winner on the show the following week. So basically, I'm just the referee in this and lay down the facts. Let's start with the Justice League. The Justice League first appeared in Brave in the Bold, issue 28 in 1960. In this issue, the Justice League Justice League have to band together to fight an evil alien called Starro, which they defeated by sprinkling lime all over his body. And not like lime juice lime, like lime you put on your lawn lime and I don't know, don't ask, it was the 60s. Although, this is the first appearance of the Justice League, the Justice League's origin wasn't revealed till Justice League of America issue 9. They've also been known as simply JLA and of course Justice League of America. Recently, however, DC has changed that as Justice League of America in the comics now is a completely different team altogether. There's also been many incarnations or subsections of the teams over the years like Justice League Europe, Justice League International, Justice League Task Force, Justice League Elite, Justice League Dark, and so on and so forth. The Justice League originally featured Superman Batman, Wonder Woman, Barry Allen, Flash, Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, Aquaman, and Martian Manhunter. The team roster has been rotated throughout the years with characters such as Green Arrow, Captain Marvel, Black Canary, The Atom, Hawkman, Elongated Man, Red Tornado, Firestorm, Zatanna, Hawkgirl, Doctor Fate, and dozens of others. Ever since DC's New 52 relaunch, the team was given a new origin where they formed due to Darkseid invading the Earth. But the original seven members stayed the same minus Martian Manhunter. He was replaced by Cyborg, who is now an original member. As for Martian Manhunter. He is now part of Stormwatch and even more recently Justice League of America. But now that I've given you a little bit of Justice League's history, let's break down the Avengers history. The team made its debut in the Avengers issue 1. In the issue, Asgardian trickster and brother of Thor, Loki, is out to kill his brother once again. He starts by tricking Hulk into doing something bad, which causes the other heroes to come looking for him. But then, long story short, they realize it's Loki behind it all and come together to stop him, which of course, in the end, the Avengers are officially formed. The team originally consisted of Iron Man. Man, Ant-Man, Wasp, Thor, Hulk, and Captain America by issue 4. But the team has later gone on to have characters like Vision, Hawkeye, Black Widow, Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, Wolverine, Miss Marvel, Black Knight, Spider-Man, Red Hulk, and so on. Pretty much everyone in the Marvel Universe has been an Avenger at one time or another. Just like the Justice League, there's also been many different incarnations of the Avengers, such as New Avengers, Mighty Avengers, and Dark Avengers. But most recently, Uncanny Avengers, which was formed after the events of Avengers vs. X-Men. It consists of members of the X-Men and the Avengers on one team, which is kind of awesome. So, now that I've given you a brief history of each team as a whole, it's time to break down each core member of the teams. So let's talk some powers, starting with the Justice League. First member is Superman. He is definitely their strongest member and is known as the strongest being on the planet. Superman is also arguably the strongest slash most powerful superhero in all of comics period. And as I've said before on the show, he pretty much has super everything. And on top of that, he has laser vision, x-ray vision, frost breath, and he can fly. So the list just keeps going on and on. There's basically nothing he can't do. Next we have Batman. He's a master of almost all, if not all, forms of martial arts. He's a master of acrobatics. He's the world's greatest detective. He's also one of the smartest superheroes out there. He's a billionaire, meaning he has resources to basically anything he freaking wants, and he has some of the best tech and gadgets that would even make secret ops people at Area 51 be like, can I hold that? Superman has also described Batman as the most dangerous man on Earth, which if Superman is saying that, you know he's pretty much the most BA person alive. They have Wonder Woman, who is pretty much the female equivalent of Superman, minus some things here and there. She has indestructible bracelets that she uses as shields that were made from the remains of Zeus's shield, and a lasso that can make any man tell the truth once caught by it. And of course, she can fly. We have Martian Manhunter, who also possesses a wide range of powers, including telepathy, shape-shifting, projecting energy, x-ray vision, phasing, invisibility, flight, 
height and super strength. Needless to say, he's freaking awesome. Then you have Green Lantern who can fly and make anything he can think of using his power ring. And because of his ring, he has a vast knowledge of all the universe. Pretty much the only weakness Green Lantern has is himself as the ring's only limitations lie within the wearer's imagination and willpower. Then you have the Flash who's the world's fastest man. He's so fast he can vibrate straight through solid objects and also travel through time. He also can react at light speeds as well as having superhuman endurance that allow him to run incredible distances without tiring. Then there's Aquaman who of course can control marine life and breathe underwater. He possesses superhuman durability high enough to remain unaffected by the immense pressure and cold temperature of the ocean depths. This also makes him tough enough to be invertible to machine gun fire and he also has superhuman strength. And finally, Cyborg, since he's now a founding member as one of the original seven. He can open boom tubes to other dimensions, which him and the rest of the Justice League can travel through. He can access any electronic device on the planet, meaning he can hack any computer and get info on anything or anyone. He also has super speed, super strength, and so on. But now that I listed the members of the Justice League stats, let's move on to the Avengers. But first, a word from our sponsor. GoDaddy Web Hosting delivers the most reliable hosting available. They call it fourth generation hosting and offers many features that competitors don't. And right now, they've got a great deal going that saves you some serious cash. Use the code VARIANT1 to get 10% off your order. Now let's assemble the Avengers, first one being the first Avenger himself, Captain America. Captain America's powers include increased strength, agility, speed, endurance, and even healing, all due to the super soldier experiment he was a part of. It enhanced all of his bodily functions to the peak of human efficiency. He's also an expert in martial arts and hand-to-hand -hand combat, not to mention he has an indestructible shield made of vibranium that he also uses as a weapon. Next we have Iron Man, he's an inventive genius who's an expert in the fields of mathematics, physics, chemistry, computer science, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. But obviously most notable is his suit of armor. His armors give him the capability to fly, shoot repulsor blasts from his palms, and he even gives him super strength. Pretty much anything you can think of, he's made an armor for it at one point or another. Now we have the God of Thunder, Thor. Thor possesses a very high resistance to physical injury. Thor also has keen senses that allow him to track objects traveling faster than light. He has extreme stamina and can battle for months on end without any form of sleep or rest. Thor can also summon the elements of weather like lightning, rain, wind, snow, and uses his hammer Mjolnir to focus this ability. There's also Ant-Man who is a scientific genius who has a PhD in biochemistry. He has the ability to shrink down to the size of an ant. He can also control ants using the powers within his helmet. Then you have his lady level wasp who can also shrink down to the size of an insect and has stinger blasts she can shoot from her hands. Then there's Hawkeye who's a master with a bow and arrow. There's pretty much no target he can hit. He's also at the very peak of human conditioning. He's an exceptional fencer, acrobat, and grandmaster marksman. Also, there's Black Widow. She's a world-class athlete, gymnast, acrobat, capable of numerous complex maneuvers and feats, and highly trained in martial arts. Also, she has been enhanced by biotechnology that makes her body resistant to aging and disease and heals at an above human rate. And finally, the green giant of the group, and by far the muscle of the Avengers, the Hulk. Putting it plain and simple, Hulk is the strongest there is. He possesses potential for limitless physical strength depending on how angry he gets. Hence the term, the matter Hulk gets, the stronger Hulk gets. He also can jump extremely long distances and has also been known to have other abilities through the years. But for the most part, he's an unstoppable brute who you don't want to piss off. Hulk would also be the one most likely to fight DC's powerhouse, Superman. But that's it and now I'm officially winded because that was a crap ton of superheroes to run through. And I'm tired now. No, I'm not. So now that you guys have info on each team, head over to our variant Facebook page and cast your vote on who would win in the face-off. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers, or the world's greatest heroes, The Justice League. First up for Wednesday, March 6th, we have Earth 2, Issue 10. This series has been great so far, and it's really cool to see our superheroes in another reality. Next, we have Green Arrow, Issue 18. This is the second issue with the new writer, Jeff Lemire. The last issue was getting lots of buzz, and that's simply because he's an awesome writer. In this issue, Oliver Queen has lost everything, his company, his money, his friends, and most of his arrows. And it's all because of one man, Komodo, who has come to tear Ollie's life to shreds. Now we have Superior Spider-Man, Issue 5. How many will have to die before Superior Spider-Man will kill a supervillain? Spider-Man vs. Massacre with hundreds of lives in the balance. Next we have all new X-Men issue 8. This issue guest stars the Avengers. How will Earth's Mightiest Heroes react to the time-swept X-Men? Now we have Detective Comics issue 18. Batman vs. the Penguin. The stakes are high and even if Batman wins, he loses. Here we have Green Lantern issue 18. The epic universe-shattering wrath of the First Lantern continues. Don't miss the shocking fates of Hal Jordan and Sinestro. Well friends, that brings today's episode to a close. But do not forget to cast your vote on our variant Facebook page on who 
would win in a fight, the Justice League or Avengers. I'll be announcing the winner on next week's episode. But until that time, that is this time today. Remember, your lovely faces can follow me on the Twitter world at twitter.com forward slash Eris underscore Quinones. But I'll see you guys next week when I talk about a real life super soldier program to the peak of human efficiency. He's also an expert in to the super soldier experiment he was a part of it 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 <laughs> on one team which is kind of awesome so now that you have